you're allowed to have criticism or perspective because you have a voice. And this sh that made it, and these cameras that made it possible for any and everybody, bro. Mm. So guess what? There will never be no growth. We ain't never going to get to see Diddy's redemption. This ain't about Diddy's redemption right now. Yeah. This is about trauma. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's about like, and they looking at one, and now that we've seen one, everybody like, oh, everything that happened is, is real now. Mm. And people can't wait for a motherfucker to crash, even if they like you. Bro, even if they like you, look at the Drake Yeah, that's... Look at the Drake shit, bro. Look at the Drake shit. Now, don't get me wrong. Kendrick Lamar is one of my favorite rappers. I love Kendrick but Lamar. This is crazy. It, but this is the thing, bro. Niggas could not <laughs> wait for Drake to lose. That's all they want. They want the downfall of somebody else. All Kendrick got to do is do one thing that everybody don't like. One thing that everybody don't like, and they'll want the same for him. Yo, this video is sponsored by Los Hermanos, and it's crazy because I always wanted to have a uh, tequila sponsorship. So shout out to my guys over at Los Hermanos for taking a shot with me, doing this partnership thing. I really appreciate it. Listen, I like it so much, I might just be worse than uh, Rick Ross, bro. So if you see me on the gram, posting it all over my story and my gram, don't say nothing. Just go ahead and buy a bottle. I got it by the case. So look, we got the Blanco. We also got the Repo. And you know, my favorite is in Yeho, right? We got it on the way, you know. Like I said, we got it by the case, man. So listen, if you in Delaware, you in Georgia, you in Maryland, you in New York, you in Jersey, make sure you go to the nearest liquor store and ask for some Los Hermanos. Hey, my guys. You, you were saying, uh, you asked me, did you influence me? I said no. Yeah, that was crazy. Why is that crazy? Because I would like to think. Well, you might close, pause. Is this good enough, pause? Um, I would like to think that like, since we've like, we met each other a couple years ago. Yeah. But like, since you we've been. Fuck boy shit. Watch your mouth. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Yo, I be saying the wildest shit. I didn't mean to say it like that. You that from Baltimore. Wild. Yeah, that you know was crazy like, shit. Nah, I'll fuck with you, bro. You know some fuck nigga shit kind of like. No, you, your, your so, perception, your perception. He's being a weirdo. Industry nigga. Where, where, that, that was your perception. Yeah, yeah. But nigga, what you fail to realize is that. While you're eager to get me on your platform and all of that, your platform might have been the least important thing to me because I was dealing with real life with shit. You. I'm I understand. Yeah, you feel I me? I know you did mad other podcasts before me. I'm like, damn, this nigga gave me his number. Man, he one of them weirdo industry niggas. But yeah, it's cool. Like yeah, I ain't it, tripping. It, you know yeah, I mean? we, we ain't fight. Ain't nobody like lose an ounce of blood. You feel fact, me? Yeah. But no, nah, but I I feel like the, you saying I didn't influence you is crazy because like. I would like to believe that since we've been connected and shit, that how I speak to you, speak with you, speak light to, towards you, that it has some sort of positive influence on how you look at shit. You feel me? Like, I, what's the definition of influence? Yeah, look up the definition because you're not really good with words. Uh, I'm trying, man. Shit, <laughs> I'm trying. You see, I'm working. You went to college? Yeah. This is crazy. Yo, you know, you and know, I, you know. I graduated, and you graduated? Yeah, with Yo, a 3.6. Yo, that's crazy. You know what be bugging me out of my whole life, bro? Because I always believed that anybody that went to school was smarter than me. You know what I mean? I don't know. So it says influence. So he just admitted he's not smarter than no, me. No, I said, that. no, not everybody would <laughs> agree. Just fuck with you. Fuck with it says the capacity to have an effect on a character, development or behavior or someone or something or the effect on itself. So, so you don't think I've had any of that towards you? Like since we've been speaking, building, I'm talking about our off the record conversations. Like it hasn't had any type of influence on you to have a different outlook on different things in life or even in self. I don't think so. Damn, that's crazy. I think you've had a impact on me for sure. A hundred percent. An impact on my career. Uh, I mean, and that's why I say, if you want us to look at it like impact that. Impact the career. So like, no, keep going. I yeah, would like to, yeah, to hear impact this. on, um, so, and that's what I was, I was going to say. Maybe it is influence because I was like, you had an impact, kind of, sort of, on the way I look at my career. I say kind of, sort of, because... Why you trying to minimize how I'm, much I influence you, bro? It's no, right, because man. I want you to understand that just because I, I say you don't have an influence on me don't don't mean I don't recognize the impact that you have. 
Well, cool. I ain't say that I, you know that you got dressed like me, but you yeah. have been wearing like you do be wearing Godspeed and shit. You feel me? I've like, been wearing Godspeed. I, I don't know. I, 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 I didn't really see you rocking Godspeed like that. I did you know have saying? Godspeed nah, with me. But but yeah. So like, what I will say is like, you we've had conversations, but I think our conversations only come from who I who I already am, right? Like you like the conversation you was like about the running thing, right? You mm -hmm. like man, keep doing that. I can't really say that influenced me because that's something that I was going to keep that's doing anyway. You to keep doing it? No, he was like, bro, I think you should dive into that. You say, yo, I think like you could really like tap into that. Like he was like, do content around that. But I already was on that path. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I, like I don't want to take I don't want to take credit away from you, bro. But I also I'm just well, like, I'm not looking for no credit. Yeah. I'm just saying I just, I just think that all right. So look, I'll, I see this. But is you where, have we have positive conversations. Yeah, for but sure. look, this this is where like being the elder statesman, like you could you could really like communicate. Like honestly, like I can say that you've had an influence on me. Like, no, nah, I ain't want to dress like you because what the fuck is them pants you got on? Yeah, but um, these are the only pants I could fit. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 your influence on me, like me coming into your studio, seeing what you got going on, seeing how you build things, influenced me to like try on my own to to for me to invest in myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Huh? I got you. For me to invest in myself, for me to like. You know, push towards like an independent media career. Mm -hmm. So that's where your influence has had an effect on me. So I would only thought that, like, you know, what I mean, the buck was passed with just certain conversations. You know, what I mean, whether it might be something as little as parenting, it might be something as little as like just how you handling yourself. Like, you know, that doesn't mean influence doesn't mean that you have to do what I do. So let me ask you this, because I don't, I see that, right? But you mm -hmm. gotta understand. I was already already independent, right? Yeah, so, I'm and, not and, talking and about the, independence. So. No, I'm just saying, like, from mm -hmm. your perspective. So, like, from my perspective, like, everything that you are, I think that's the reason why I I like you and like we are friends because I feel like I see a part of it in myself. Like, you're a good pops. I'm a good pops, right? Like, you that's are, influence. No, I'm already a good father. Yeah, in I'm not excluding of, you being a father. I'm saying, like, you said, if you see if you see yourself in me, right, or if you see like look to me and be like, damn, like. Like I could see like good in this person, and like I'm already doing good, but mm -hmm. like I see a different perspective. That's influence. Okay, I, I guess when I hear influence, I'm thinking of you think a big change. Line. That's no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that's I, not being real, bro. <laughs> right. I, I think of like a change in something. So a like, change. like if you say influence, like yo, you wear uh, Jordans all the time. Man, I'm about to get some Jordans or something like that. That's what nah, I think. That's of not influence. That, but this, nah, see, that's like a very small part. Of, that's what. That's the hip hop version of influence. Like you mm -hmm. know what I mean. Like the hip hop version of influence is. Oh, like, like I, once I started coming around you, you start doing this. Like, nah, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, you know, you could be influenced or even inspired. You know what I'm saying by almost anything. I definitely like, would say inspired. Yeah, but for but sure. But but I think that like it, it it that word falls within like the realm of the word influence, like inspiration, influence. Like these, are, if you inspired by something, right, that inspiration can influence you, whether you uh, uh, consciously notice it or not. To say, damn, like, oh, this nigga doing that, like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this my way, but like, I, 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 I didn't look at it like that until I seen him do that. Well, I will Cause, say because that's how I was with you. I will say for a hundred percent, even though I was already on this path, mm -hmm. like I was on it. That's why I brought you here because I wanted to get more oh, into you hip hop. Me here. That's what you did. You brought me here. Oh, you ain't. You didn't request. I asked you to be here. All right, I just want. I just. I just listen. Words matter, bro. I thought. I mean, I brought you here. Asked you, you here, like, like, like you, like you know what I'm saying? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the. I'm gonna be. I'm the realest nigga in the. Listen, I'm gonna tell you straight the up. Realest nigga. I'm just letting you know, bro. I'm the realest nigga. So like, what I ain't does never. That mean? What, what I'm about to tell you, I ain't never gotta dim another man light to make myself shine. So more. you just honest. Yeah. All right, but you that don't, like is is honest being honest make you a real nigga? Like, yeah. Yes. No, it don't. Yes, it does. Because I think that I, I think the whole the whole term real nigga is like a such a flawed term. It is. It's but that's like why I say I'm a real term. nigga. It is. It is. You but right. why would you use it if it's Because flawed. I'm a real nigga. Like when we ain't the shit that they make up on the streets, like I take care of my family. I'm a real nigga. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. I, all right. It's just words. You know what I mean? it's, it's words. Just words. It's words. Yeah, it's so words, I say yeah. that to say I would never ever dim your light to shine. Ever. Yeah, yeah. So I I'm gonna always give you so respect. So okay, cool. I'm just letting you know. So Yeah. When I say, like, I brought you here as far as, like, I knew who you were. Like, yeah. don't ever get it twisted. Like, so, like, like I, st I give you respect. If we joke all, you still ain't no in my eyes. Yeah. I don't care. Like, I'll give you the respect. I'll show yeah. you that love. And Okay, if that's influence, <laughs> yeah. If that's influence, cool. Cool. All I'm saying is I was already on that path. Yeah. Right? So, I didn't. Okay. So, like, for example, when you say, like, you came in and made you want to do be 
more independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? absolutely. It didn't make me want to be more anything because I already was going down that path. That's why I requested Wayne, though, because yeah, 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 he was but, going to... But, but, that, but so, so uh, again, I think, like, we're saying the same things, right? It's like, all right, influence, like, your influence on me, mm -hmm. your impact on me was me having an idea to... Because I was already on that path, right? Mm. But having an idea, but then being able to see it in real time from, like, a brother that's younger than me, that's, like not making no excuses and doing this shit on his own with his own team. Okay. So like when I seen that, I was like, oh shit, like, yo, how could I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I, like I was inquisitive about it. Like, yo, how, and I, not that I didn't have other examples, but like I'm here now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, I'm looking at it like, damn. I was kind of the catalyst to to you. Get absolutely. Started. But see, I- And I, you were I, the catalyst to, I will say this, and that's what I was about to say. Watching the tape back, mm -hmm. I'm like, damn. I gotta learn, so I gotta get in my studies more. Yeah, so I won't say that for hundred because that's influence. I would, give, influence, I would, I'd give you that for hundred because I'm like, <laughs> you know, it's funny thing about this, and I know what? the audience don't care about this, but I talk to my friends, and I think mm -hmm. I talk to you about this. What people don't know and don't give a damn about is, I'm in the stage where, like, I'm learning, mm -hmm. but I'm learning on a big stage. Yeah, 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 like for example, like let's say. We think about Charlemagne and God. Mm -hmm. We think about academics. Mm -hmm. It was a part, it was a time in their career where niggas really hated them niggas, right? Yeah. We forget that because of who they are today. Nah, nobody forgets that. But we don't, <laughs> we're not talking about Charlemagne getting chased from the radio station, right? We only talking about. But you think you equate that to hate? <sighs> kind of. I, I, I equate that to like just the, the, the hot 90s set. Like it was like a blood and crip war in New York radio. You know what but I mean? Also, like, he was just a dickhead. So he like t t call niggas donkey today, telling niggas like getting people on, on, on the platform, ask some crazy, qu like the yeah, wildest yeah, yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he was an asshole. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I'm saying we don't remember, like we remember the asshole, but we asshole. thinking about, nah, he's like. He's, nah, he's an asshole. That's my dog, but he's still an asshole. Like, he's a powerful dog. He is. No, you know no, what I'm saying? No, no, look, and I'm, I'm just saying, we, we, so, we, yeah. we, we soon forget all of the BS that came with him. Same with academics. Only way, we, only reason we remember that is because he reminds us every day. No, like, but, nobody, like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, he's <laughs> the most hated. Like, I, yo, he might, academics literally might be the most hated person in hip hop media of all time. Like, he's hated more than Star was. And Star people hated Star. Like, it was, and I love Star, bro, because to me, when I was a kid, I just thought it was so entertaining that somebody would say the craziest things mm -hmm. until like the Aaliyah thing, you know what I mean? Like, but um, Star was probably the most hated personality we had ever seen. Um, uh, after maybe Wendy Williams, so you, you know think what I'm saying? Academics is easily the most hated because he's hated internationally. Mm. He's not hated like just locally. I just think I, maybe I'm bi well, I am biased. I feel like I would choose a. Like an Adam Twenty Two. Nah, Adam Twenty Two is not hated more than yeah. I, I believe academics. But that that's that says the impact. That's why I like academics because it says it, it says something about the impact. Yeah, I mean, listen, the, he's a smart brother. You know what I mean? Like he he he's smart and what like I told you, I think I told I may have told you this or not, but he knows how to turn like like the the experience I had working with him was I got the experience like academics the 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 personality, mm -hmm. but then like. When the cameras is off, like the per, the, the man he is, mm -hmm. and the man he is, that's who I grew to love for. You know what I mean? It, I even love the personality, but I'm just saying it's like that's my dog. That was my dog to the point of like we had some of our greatest conversations, like even debates off of camera, mm, which is that. crazy. You know what I mean? But I got a chance to really learn who he was and how to like press a button to turn it on and press a button to turn it off to be yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I so it's like, but yeah, that nigga's easily the. And I believe that. Like, but I say that I say all that to say there was the times where people really hated them, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't remember that for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah I get the, you. The, the the standard audience or whatever. And I was saying, like, this is my time where I'm learning. Yeah, I'm learning, right? <laughs> and people don't care that I'm learning. Like they don't look at it as nah, they don't care. Th this this nigga is just learning the rope. They don't care about that. So because bro, people like it's like when you have a can and I noticed that from that clip that we had, right? It's like so many people like, yo, why would you bring him on your show? I'm like, <laughs> I'm on his show, like, you know what I mean? like, essentially, like, I'm on his show, but it's like, yo, people shouldn't have podcasts. It's like, you're not allowed to 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 make mistakes, like, nope. you know what I mean? Like, they think that, you damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. If you have, if you decide to have a podcast or a platform where you want to speak on and give your takes or whatever, like, people expect you to just know everything about everything and not, like, mess up anything. Like, even down to, like, remember when I was talking about, like, certain albums and shit and I was giving you the dates? Mm -hmm. It's like... 
if I get, I could have got ten dates right. If I get one date wrong, they like, see that nigga ain't really about yeah. that shit. Like he yeah. ain't really, you know, because it's so easy to criticize somebody sitting from the stands. Mm -hmm. If you bring most people who have that same criticism to sit in a chair, they won't even know what to say. Or they won't even know what to do. So you're doing a good job. No, and, and the fact that's that enough people, glazing, as the young people would say. Yeah, but I mean, at, at the end of the day, <laughs> if the people complain about it, it's working. So the people, that, yeah. if they had nothing to say, it's, it won't be it's working. Engagement, regardless. Okay, cool. Let's get into the conversation. Yo, is this mic good, bro? Yeah. All right, let me just see who the fuck he texts. Me. Nah, take your time. Text right now. I can't prepare today. All right. Did you see? Um, what is it? Apple's top 100 albums. Yes. Well, not really. Let me pull it up. I, I saw. I saw. I seen. You of put course, it on I TV? saw. It. Oh shit, we got TV and shit. Okay. No? Of, co of course, I saw it, but I didn't really like. I didn't give a deep dive into it because I was going to give it a, a deep dive for you know my segment called "I'll Do It Myself," which I do. You know what I mean? Weekly and all of that. But um, I didn't give it you know too much time because I had a lot of shit going on. My son had two graduations in the past. You know, Congrats. week he graduated early. Yeah, he graduated a year early. You know what I mean? Which was like. Man, it was such a you know emotional moment for me because raising a son is man. I know I know so many people like with young kids they like oh this is so great but listen you get challenged once they start once your your kid gets a personality and they have to go out into the world and deal with other people that's when you really get the challenge you feel me mm, mm, mm. so it was like just dealing with that I'm proud of my son though bro for him to graduate high school a year early because my 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 oldest daughter, she graduated high school a year early, but she got skipped. My son didn't get skipped and graduated a year early. Nah, man, that's crazy. So what, like, he about to leave, about to go to college? Like, he's trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? He's he's trying to figure it out, but like, I also believe that he lacks because he's it's a gift and a curse. Because he graduated a year early, he lacks like a year of maturity. Okay. So it's like when you're supposed to be like mature enough to step out into the world and kind of be on your own he's still a 16 year old going on 17. Yeah. you know what i mean so it's like he and, and again my son is smart you know what i mean i feel like I, my kids even like my, my best friend like even his his daughter like our kids ended up being better students than we were but like for my son specifically like he didn't like pass because he just was putting in all this academic work mm. he got it was one school he was in. He had an incident in the school. His mom didn't want him to go to the school anymore. And I didn't want him to go to school anymore. So we put him in another school. And this school just packed in more per semester credits. And he was already in a good space credit-wise. So it was like, all right, shit, he could graduate. It wasn't like he worked for it, but it wasn't that wasn't his intent. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like hitting a lotto when you have yeah. no intention on getting any financial literacy. You know what I mean? Like yeah. You hit the lotto, you like... Like, like, I'm about to blow this shit. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I, uh, bro, I was I was saying that because like usually you know parents their kids graduate they really kick ass out. Good oh no, nah, I ain't I ain't with that. That kick kicking the kids shit out is not that ain't it. You know what yeah. I mean? I ain't I, I'm not with that at all. Like that that kicking the kids shit out is not it at all. You feel me? I oh, appreciate you, bro. You might have to move this the base. Okay. I mean. Uh, Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. No, nah, we. It, it, I think right, it's, it's good. Cool. It's, cool. It's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just, bro, I'm just Ryan yeah. Lobby. boy. Nah, you be on everything, working. but that we gonna have a conversation after this. But yeah. um, so get back to it. I sent you the um the list. All right, let me check it out. Did you did you see anything? Yeah, I seen. I seen was the number one was the right. best album. Bro, come on, man. I've been. Come, Man, they could be talking mad shit about me, bro. I've been talking about that album. The shit that niggas talk about you is warranted, though. Bro, I've been talking about uh. Yeah, I'm not disputing that. I'm just saying, like, you act as if, like, like the shit that's talked about you ain't warranted. You, you, you bring it on yourself, brother. Hold on. I feel like you making Cause, sense. Because, listen, while I do agree that there's a lot of great albums in this, and it's a lot of albums that I probably don't know, this is not a... You know what people always confuse things like this for? It being a hip-hop list. It's not a hip-hop list. This is greatest albums of all time. Okay. For what Apple put together. I'm, I'm siphoning through it now. Um, which I see some great hip hop albums in here. Woo -hoo, wait, what? ninety five confessions? Damn, confessions being ninety five is kind of wild. That's kind of wild. That's one of confessions being ninety five and anti by Rihanna being fifty five is insane. I was about to say something, but I know they're gonna kill me for it, so I'm gonna keep it to myself. What? I feel like Solange. <laughs> Why you... I'm gonna say it. Why not? You scared? <laughs> Get a dog. Um, I think that not. Nah, that's a great album though. But I don't. I heard nah, it was great. A, but not, you never listened to it. I heard. I listened to it a couple but, times. But not. You ain't listened to that album. Not nah, didn't. 
That's bro, what I'm that saying. being you can't, you can't comment on that something being that 93 being, and confessions 95. That's yeah, that being disrespect. that being better than confessions is insane. Come on, that being better than confessions is insane. Oh my god! If Illmatic is on, I, yo, let me tell you something about Illmatic. I, I'm not the biggest Illmatic fan. I'm just keeping it a thousand. Big ready to die 31. Um, I love the way this interface. Is. You could just like, go through this shit, man, easy. My life been 86. My beautiful twisted dark fantasy is 26. Get rich or die trying is 82. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. But remember, this is not a rap list. So it's other albums that they place in above it. So okay. think about it, think about it like this, right? I even wonder if they got you list, too. Even with this whole list, bro, it doesn't mean that they write. That's just their list. You know what I mean? That's just their list. Hold on. SOS <laughs> I haven't seen Reasonable Doubt, but I see Blueprint, which is SZA SOS is number 72. Good Kid Mad City is number seven all time. They on that nigga dick. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on now. Seven all time. Yeah, you you learned you learned about talking about Kendrick. <laughs> um you number learned. seven? Yeah, you learned though. Number seven though? You learned. You just scared of his fans. Huh? You said I was scared of his you fans. You scared of his fans. I'm one of his fans. So you think you you think it, it it deserves to be number seven? I believe that it's a a top in or albums all time. I wouldn't be put at seven. Okay, that's all I'm, I'm saying. But what you mean scared? Nigga, I ain't scared of none of these niggas. What they gonna do? They, what gonna, they gonna do? They gonna comment? Yeah, they just gonna comment. <laughs> ain't nobody about to do nothing to me. <laughs> Fucking um, Amy yeah, Winehouse. I can't even not that Amy Winehouse album is fire. The comment warriors. Oh man, uh, listen, man. I seen number one. No, nah, number one deserves to be number one. No. What? There's a yes. but there's an argument, but but listen, that's the only one they got right. I I can't say that because that's a that's a great album, but there's an argument to be made about number one album. So I seen um, there's some Rory said, and then somebody else said. What's your top five albums? Top five albums of all time. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I could do that, bro. I can give you top five albums of all time. I might give you four. I could give you mad one. I could give you mad like my favorite to all time, but I can't say I can't put them in a the context of five. Like because because for me and listen, I don't. I'm not a journalist, so I don't know what like if you got to put down criteria and all that to to crunch it down to Bro, a you list. You are the person who's qualified to have this conversation. I am, I but, I, but, no but I'm also I'm also not I'm also not in the space of like while I do love music, I know hip hop and R and B. I can't say like. For the best rock, or you know what I'm saying? Cause I, cause I do. It's rock albums You're or rock songs that I like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hip hop and R&B. Yeah, but I like music overall. Like Coldplay, it's a Coldplay album that's one of the greatest albums so, ever. Top five hip hop and R&B. Top five hip hop and R&B. That's too tough for me, bro. T top five I, let me just go. Top five hip hop. Then. Let me that just go. Over, no, no, let me just say albums that I think are just phenomenal albums. My Life by Mary J. Blige. <sighs> Crazy. Phenomenal album. Amazing. Confessions by Usher. Um, what's that? Eighty seven oh one by Usher. Oh, amazing! My gosh. Like amazing. We are the streets by the locks, which people probably don't think is anything. Is one of the greatest albums to me. DMX is dark and hell is hot, which I didn't see on that list. Mm. Is one of the greatest albums ever. Mob Deep, um, the infamous that album. Raekwon, only built for Cuban links. Um, Dang, Good Kid, Mad City. Dirty Sprite 2. Yes. Oh um my gosh. The Love Below, which I didn't see on that list. Um Late Registration. Oh my gosh. Um Jay-Z Blueprint and uh Shit in My Lifetime. In the Hard Life, in the Hard Knock Life Volume 2. Uh uh Reasonable Doubt. It was written by Nas. Mm. Um Beanie Siegel's uh The Truth. Um Scarface The Fix. Tupac, All Eyes on Me, Machiavelli, um, Biggie, Life After Death, Ready was, to Die. That was really good. Um, Cameron, SDE, Fuji's The Score, Ghostface Killer, Iron Man. All right, man. You, you, supposed to, you could have did five. Rick Ross, because you're not a Rick Ross fan. Um, I like Rick Ross, Trilla, Teflon Dawn, Port of Miami. God forgives I don't. Can you not be a fan of the artist outside of the music? Is that not? Can you not be? Yeah, you could not like a person. Because I like Rick Ross. As a person? Yeah, hell but yeah. You don't really as an entrepreneur? Yeah, not really. Okay, that that's fine. But I, but you can't have... See, with that being said, you can't have like music conversations about said person. Because mm -hmm. when it's time to 
you know, judge or make um definitive convos regarding music, you got to know the music. Okay. You got to listen. Like I said, like Solange, if you don't know the Solange, oh, Playboy Cardi first album, Playboy Cardi Die Lit. You know, you named some three projects and I wish I could have said it then. You what? know who have who has some of the uh probably the best three projects back to back in my perspective? Mm. The Weeknd. Yes. Yes. House, House, House of, of Balloons, Balloons, Echoes of Silence, that's, and Thursday. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's probably. That's crazy. That no, that's crazy. <laughs> that's insane. Little Baby, My Turn. Um, Migos Culture is a classic album. Yes. Migos Culture, their first album, their first real album, that's a classic album. Um So do you agree with most of what you saw or no? What do you mean? Do I agree with what? The Apple Top 100. No, cause I didn't. I, I just skimmed through it. I didn't really sit and go through it. But I, again, this is. Uh, oh, real quick, I have to say this: Nerd in search of, um, Nerd, uh, uh, fly or die, and Nerd, um, seeing sounds. Three of the greatest albums ever. Uh-huh. Know any ideas? Yeah, no. Rose yeah, band yeah. Mm-hmm. with Chad and Shane. I, I didn't. I don't think I listened to none of that, but I know who they are. Some of the greatest music ever, ever created. But um, bro, when I think about like listen shit, I don't get. I used to get mad at people. I don't get mad at people list because like that's that's how they feel. Like I can't. I don't know what the stand. I don't work at Apple. I don't know what the standard for them motherfuckers is every day. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, nah. I think um, damn, bro, Fifty Cent, one of the the most overlooked. Albums in my perspective is Jay Z four four four. I feel like a lot of people don't get at the respect that it deserves. They give it respect, but it's like latter years. Like Man, to me, that it's, was it's a great project, bro. It, it's great, but I like it's not. It's not my favorite. It's not even. It's not in my top tier Jay Z albums. It's not. It's in my top tier. That's great for you. Yeah, I yeah. only because that was like, bro. You gotta understand. I wasn't like I wasn't a Jay Z fan. When probably you became a Jay Z fan, I was a kid when Jay Z. So so like you was a baby. Yeah. That so like right? when I the and that's why I think Jay Z is one of the greatest of all time. Oh hold on, Uh-oh. we didn't say one Lil Wayne album, and that's blasphemy. That's, that's blasphemy. Which Carter Two is one of the greatest albums of all time, and so is Carter Three. What do you think? How are we not gonna say the Carter and One? And big timers and big timers. I got that work. Big timers. So you skip over the Carter One. It's not as good as two or three. Bro, Birdman Jr. is one of the best songs ever. Song. Yes. Not album. Go DJ was on there. Song. Not album. Yeah. Um, but I got that work. Guerrilla Warfare by see, I'm saying shit that he don't know. Yeah, you are. Guerrilla Warfare by the Hot Boys. Um, Chopper City by BG. Um, um, Life of Death by C Murder. Uh, uh, Ghetto Dope by Master P, fucking um, all those were were albums. Yeah, damn. Um, um, cause my mind is just in a lot of different places while we saying this. I'm trying to think of like, cause I, cause, cause you know, for everything I said, they're gonna be like, what you ain't Lupe hey. Fiasco, Food and Liquor. Hey, Lupe since Fiasco, we the since cool. we doing this, I mean, nah, I'm Meek, not about to sit Meek and make Mill. Oh yeah, me, me, absolutely, champions. Dreams and- Dreams and Nightmares, what? Two? Dream and Nightmares is not, he doesn't know Dream no, and Nightmares. No, what, what was the, dream, the one with the blue cover, that was, what was that? That's Championship. Okay, that one. Championships is his best album, that's that a classic album. Fire. But Dreams and Nightmares, Meek's first album is not my favorite Meek No, no, I'm, ta- I'm talking about Championship. Championships fire. is an amazing. That's the blue with his face looking yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, the, he's falling the confetti. Bro, I'm tripping. What? T.I., uh. T.I. King. Oh my God! Urban legend. Urban legend. That's what I'm, I'm talking serious. about. Serious. What ASAP on there? Yeah. Oh my God. Mm. No, Ti. Yo, bro. You saw no, not not ASAP Rocker. ASAP. 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 Yeah. ASAP. ASAP. Oh ASAP. my God. Man, Thug Motivation 101. Thug Motivation 101 is one of the greatest. Yo, the State versus Roderick Davis. I'm not going to not give Gucci Mane no props. The State versus Roger Gucci Davis. got some really good Gucci Nick Mane. The movie? Made, huh? The movie? Burprint. Burprint 3, the movie. Is probably, that was a gangster girl, right? Yeah, Burprint 3, the movie. Oh my gosh, that was No, listen, fire. Gucci Mane, <sighs> this would be my thing when I, so look, I don't know if you noticed, but like on my IG, 
I've been putting up like what I feel is classic bodies of work. You've been going crazy. Whether they mixtapes or albums. Now the thing is, is when I do this, bro, it be it's only ten that you could put on IG. Look, or you get goosebumps, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you been. I'm like this. I know this. It, it, I you know this. I'm, so, <laughs> look, I'm gonna tell you why. Because it's 2010s, 2010s through or mid 2000s up. Because I feel like in hip hop, we always get only given grace to the late 90s or mm. the early. Like people talk about the early 2000s and the late 90s, like that's the only time in hip hop. There is classics, great music that came out. Like Keisha Cole first album. Bro, Keisha Cole, nigga. Keisha Cole first album. Mariah Carey. What about Trey Songz, um, Ready? Oh, no, absolutely. Hold on, real quick, though. Come on, man. Nigga, the the Emancipation of Mimi. The Emancipation of Mimi is one of the great... Nigga, Snoop Dogg, Rhythm and Gangsta. The mm. album with that Pharrell did all that shit, mm. nigga. What? This is what I'm just saying. Like people always say, "Oh yeah, doggy style." Okay, cool. But if if, if you're a lazy listener and you never listen to Snoop Dogg after that, then just say that mm. because there's great uh, dog pound dog food. I know you probably never heard that. One of the greatest albums. Oh my god, yo, I met Corrupt, nigga. I met Corrupt in like 2015. DJ Drama do that that tour with Wiz Khalifa. Mm-hmm. And I seen corrupt, bro. Like wh- whenever I've met so many people, but like I I don't really meet a lot of the people that I grew up on. Like I seen corrupt, and I stopped him. I say, yo, bro, I just got to tell you that you one of the greatest lyricists ever. And he looked at me, and was like, for real? Like I swear to God, bro. He's like, for real? I was like, yeah, nigga. Like, see, bro, we have to stop, Go or there. we have to get out of. Go we- there. Huh? Go there. We have to get out of the only classic albums is Reasonable Doubt, Illmatic, Only Built for Cuban Links, which every album that I've mentioned is classic, but there are tons. I'm talking about tons of timeless music. I thought you were about to go somewhere. I just want to ask you this. What? Why do you think, or if you even think, our legends don't get... The respect they deserve now, like for example, like they do when they die, like yeah, but why, like a Ti, like a Jeezy. I feel like these guys could just walk out. It depends on who you asking. See, for myself, it depends on who you asking. Cause see, for me, bro, growing up in New York City, born and raised in the Bronx, I had Video Music Box. I also had Rap City. And I had Yo MTV Raps. When Yo MTV Raps and Rap City, which D- Video Music Box, it was like a public access show from D- DJ Ralph McDaniels, bro. One of the greatest, like, if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be no Rap City. Mm. If it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be no Yo MTV Raps. Ed Lover and Dr. Dre, bro, who was, they, Yo MTV Raps was they thing. Bro, they, mu- they played music from every region. That's how I found out who the Ghetto Boys was. That's how I found out who Outkast was. That's how I found... And I think that, like, it's just lazy as a listener to grow up in New York and act like because we reigned supreme at that time, that that's the only shit that mattered. That's not the only thing that mattered to me. Even down to, like, 3-6 Mafia, which, like, working with Duke Deuce, I got a lot more Memphis, like... Like new, not not news. A lot of more Memphis knowledge from him. But when I was young, my friend Erin, her, her cousins lived in Memphis, and she used to spend um, summers in Memphis, and she used to come back with the Three Six Mafia tapes and give them to me. And this is ninety eight, ninety nine, ninety seven. Yo, listen to this. So it's like, I, I think that like the legend because the the, the conversation in hip hop media is always around New York or New York people. It's always like, oh, they know because n- n- hip hop started in New York and and it reigned in New York and it was built on New York's back. So like everything they say is the holy grail, and it's not. It's not. I, I think that other regions just just didn't have like the same personalities or they didn't get the same opportunities to have like a rap city. Like when they did rap city, they didn't have a rap city, Miami or a rap mm-hmm. city Atlanta. Because everybody had to go to New York to get their information. But beyond it being a regional thing, this is black music. This is our culture. This is our way of life. This is our religion. Hip-hop is our religion. Mm. So how can I 
be a fan and love Nas and Mob Deep and I loved Cormega when I was growing up and and Nature and fucking Tragedy Gaddafi and I mentioned a lot of names you probably never heard of it Capone and Noriega and all of these niggas but then try to shun or say that what they didn't like with with um three six did in in um. Memphis wasn't as important as Bone Thugs and Harmony. That's why I ain't gonna lie, bro. I miss K Slay. Mm. I miss DJ K Slay because K Slay was the only New York nigga that worked with everybody. He had he had three six on his tapes. He had um, Dipset on his tapes. He had motherfuckers that you never heard of from LA on his tapes. He had people from everywhere. K Slay was like the only place that if you was an up and coming motherfucker from the streets from anywhere, would really embrace you. Everybody else you had to play politics with. But I'm saying, like, even now, like, for example, we in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. People just talk about T.I. as if, like, he's a regular person. Like, yeah, that's T.I. I'm like, wait, what? Like, when I did the interview with- You mean people with, in Atlanta? Yeah, like, when I did the interview with T.I., I remember my, even my staff was like, yeah, I've been here mad times. I'm like, what we not gonna do? Y'all don't understand? This is a like y'all niggas are tripping. But that's just but that's just black people, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. We fucked up. And I seen Math Hoffa say something about this, like pertaining to Kass and not about like we don't want to care about our history. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and and like we just fucked up in a sense of like it means to something to us as at the moment. Like I feel like that's a great point, bro. As much I ain't gonna lie, man. Like Soldier Boy, he say some crazy shit. And he goes on these rants and tangents, but bro, it's impossible to not love this nigga, bro. Mm. I'm talking about for who he is as an artist. Okay. Now, if you don't like him as a person, because he says some crazy things sometimes, whatever. But I'm talking about like, I think that like Soldier Boy, while he be ranting and going crazy like that, is just his trauma that be seeping out from the fact that when he was a kid, people was like, fuck, everybody was like, fuck him. Mm. Everybody was like, Soldier Boy, what? That shit trash. It ain't this. It ain't that. Hip hop. Jim Jones said this to me. Show me any time where there was a song with a dance that didn't last forever. Mm. Songs and dances last forever. Soldier, we wasn't looking for Soldier when he was sixteen to be a Nas, which everybody gonna compare him to a younger person. Oh, but when Nas was rapping, he at that age he was, or when Earl Sweatshirt was rapping when he he did, bro, he was his own thing. I'm talking about Soldier Boy, the artist, not the man that people see on IG Live. As an artist, not only did he come from making a dance that went super international, viral, and all of that, but his production, bro, he produced a lot of great records for other artists. Now, again, I'm gonna say this again, because when people think about Soldier Boy, they think about the worst thing he could have possibly said that makes them dislike him. As an artist and producer, he is just as much of a fucking pillar or a fucking a big ass brick in the pyramid of hip hop as a lot of other people. So you think is what they do now that diminishes their absolutely, and that's a great point because do you think they deserve it? Do you think they deserve? It, it it depends on it depends on 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 what happens. Like like it depends on what happens. I feel like with Ti, when it was like you know the allegation, because he's he's never been convicted of none of the allegations, even for the allegations that he's had on him, haven't gone as far as we've seen him go for other people, mm -hmm. right? And people just wrote Ti off after that. But I think that one of the things, some of the things that help hurts as well. Bro, T.I., I feel like when T.I. made Family Hustle, that was like the epitome of the evolution of hip-hop. When he made a reality show to show him growing from being a dude from the street that we watched catch cases and had hip-hop beefs publicly, mm -hmm. ran down on niggas, all type, get caught with gun. He was a gun man at one point. He, was like he went from showing that side and transitioning into... The father raising his children, what a black man, you know what I mean? In his children's life, raising his children in front of the world. My definition of a real nigga. <laughs> I mean, if you want to call it that, I just call him a man. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, he was the epitome of that. And like in hip hop, 
Fanfare looks at that as soft. Mm. Fanfare looks at that as, ah, oh, that nigga corny now. He ain't busting guns. Like, bro, did you see Chief Keith talking to Zane Lowe? No, I didn't. I didn't see the whole interview, but I seen like a couple seconds of it. This was the clearest I've ever heard Chief Keith talk. And he was just saying like, he was talking about like who he was. He was like, yeah, you know, Chief Keith was like, well, at this time I was 16. He's like, I'm 29. I'm going to be 30 soon. You know what I mean? Like I didn't, it was a lot of things that I didn't know and I conducted myself like that. Now I'm an older man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing this stuff independently. He just sold 23,000 records. You know what I mean? Independently by himself. Chief Keith is also one of the most, that's another thing. When you say, and I think like that's the shit that needs to break, right? Because when you say Chief Keith is one of the most influential artists of all time, you immediately get greeted with somebody comparing him to somebody else that's not from his era, that didn't rap like him or didn't do the same things. And they might have had damn near the same impact. Mm -hmm. Instead of comparing because co comparison is the thief of joy. Yep. Instead of comparing, how about we appreciate? When I seen Chief Keith talking, bro, I was hype as shit. And the reason why I was hype was because I'm like, look at this nigga growing up. Mm. Look at him, like, you know what I mean? Look at him growing up. Separate, because, bro, look, when you a young man or woman growing up, nobody wants to be held to their past. If you're a woman that you was working in certain industries and you dealt with, X amount of men or whatever, that don't mean that you're above having love one day, right? When you're a man and you young or and you probably doing the same thing or you was in the streets, you want people to appreciate your growth and all of that. But with artists, we don't want to appreciate nobody's growth. That's a fact. So we got it. I mean, you walked us in, into it. Talk about it. What about when we see niggas like Diddy? I listen. That whole convo we had, this is the thing. I don't think that there'll ever be a time where people, because I think that anybody who's done something negative or has something negative in their career or has done negative things that affected other people, you can't erase their history on both sides, good or bad. So yes, there will always be a time where people are going to remember Diddy for who he was and who he was to us at one point in time. But that's why when we was having that conversation, I was like, yo, bro, if the nigga's a bad person, he just a bad person. Mm. And while we might give light and love to that, we can't negate the negative. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We also can't say that we can't allow somebody to grow, but right now ain't the conversation for growth. We are not having a conversation about growth. We wonder why? Because Diddy, the video that we saw, with the Cassie shit, he's at that time, he was a few years older than the age I am right now. He was 46, I believe. I'm 41. Sheesh. Now, at 46, nigga, at 18, you know right from wrong. Yeah. At 18, there's certain things that you shouldn't do. And at 25, at 35, my thing with this hip hop shit is, bro, it breathes the freedom for motherfuckers to do a lot of things and continue to do them because they don't get caught. Mm. You know what I mean? It definitely breathes the freedom to do what you want. And it shows who, that's what they say. Money, when you have money, you do what you want. We say you exactly just the money, you are. the power, bro. Yeah. I mean, money brings power. It does. And then the power, see the thing, man. You know what's crazy? You are really good at this. Thank just you. giving you your flowers again. Thank I know you. I always do it. But the fact that you can say, like, bro, we ain't talking about, we can't really talk about the time to grow right now. Can't. You can't. Why do you think that? Because it, cause, because think about it like this, Is it right? Because too, too fresh. Listen, just eight months ago, we was all she and uh, I got so I gotta move on, right? We was all dancing, having fun, right? Mm -hmm. Then all of this shit happened that we didn't even know. We heard others of it, and nothing never really was concrete. So we was, a lot of people sweeping shit under the rug because we was like, yo, this, this ain't kind. We ain't seen nothing. We ain't heard no stories. We ain't seen da 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 da. Right mm -hmm. now, a video comes out. A video, a video, video evidence. It's one thing to hear about it, but video evidence has now arisen. And that video evidence has arisen of abuse. And we can see the shit right with our own eyes. Regardless to what the story is or what led up to that, or Cassie could have cracked him in his head with a club. Nobody don't care about none of that because the video evidence shows us 
her being her trying to run and her being attacked. Right? Yeah, crazy. So with that being said, yes, bro, this is only two weeks ago that happened. Ain't nobody trying to hear nothing about no growth from a nigga that's in their 50s. One second. Nobody's not trying to hear nothing about no growth from a nigga that's in their 50s about him being in his darkest times or him. I don't think he shouldn't have done no, no apology. I think he should have shut the fuck up. That's what. Now, because I, I, want, I want to allow you the, the yeah. moment to talk. Chris Brown. I think that Chris Brown should have been allowed to have the opportunity to grow or express his growth or to show his growth. Now, we've seen it as an artist, but nobody's never allowed him because of the circumstance. Because the circumstance is domestic violence between a man and a woman, and we were able to see a picture of what... We, now, with the picture, there's no video evidence. So all you could use is your imagination when you got a picture. Yeah. So people done done mental gymnastics and had a hundred different scenarios of how that night went. Yeah. Now with Chris Brown, I think that like, yes, while he did do something very bad and very horrible, it's a mistake that he made when he was very young. And it came out that they were fighting each other. Regardless. Because nobody cares about that. Yeah. He should have been a lot. Now for him, him being 30, Chris Brown in his 30s going to be 40 in a few years. Mm -hmm. Which sounds crazy. But he's in his 30s, going to be 40 in a few years. I feel like he should have been, at this point, he should have been allowed the opportunity to grow. Show the growth. Yeah. Right? For sure. We can't. Come on, come on, bro. It's two weeks ago. So, and you're right. And you're right. I guess I look at it from, uh, I don't know, a God perspective. I don't know how to. I look at it from a human perspective. Like, yeah. who are we? I've seen a lot of um, personalities say that him apologizing was the worst thing to do. And I just don't agree with that. I feel like I think that was a step in the right direction if we agree with it or not. And I agree with you. This might not be the time for us to look at the growth. But as an individual trying to grow within yourself, as a man, as a person, yeah. I think that was the best thing he could do for himself. Nah. That's, it, it, it was I, bad. I'm going to tell you why it's bad. Because he didn't acknowledge Cassie. No, but it's, now not we found out, it's not because he didn't acknowledge Cassie. It's bad because for months, while all of this has been going on with the, you know... The, the the conversations and the allegations of mm -hmm. Diddy's sexuality or this down the third, he's fought for himself on social media to say, yo, I'm not going to allow y'all people to say all this down the third. Now, he might have been talking about this person over here or that person over there. That's what I'm saying. But <laughs> you knew that it's something... Bro, we've been in the era of cameras. I know that for a fact. If I go commit a crime, a crime that's like really serious... That from the time I left my house, between the camera that catches me on my own phone, my cam, my phone, I mean, I mean, on my house, the cameras that's on my car, the GPS that's in my car that tracks me everywhere I go, the cameras on my 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 uh neighbors and everybody in the surrounding neighborhood, the highway that I drove down to get where I'm at right now, the building I walked in, I've been on camera every day, and it's not just become like that last year. It's been like that for the past ten years. So you know that if there's something that you've probably done, whether you had a camera out or not, it's probably recorded. I think that when you know that you done did some bullshit, you need to have some humility and shut the fuck up. Because when what comes to the light, whatever comes to the light, whatever scene, you know that it's not going to go in your favor. So, I mean, you're right. But I'm saying, like, if people are coming up with false with, with allegations, because we can't even say false now. If people are coming out with, with these crazy allegations, Cassie's thing happened. He paid her immediately because I'm, I'm assuming that he knew that. That don't make it better. It doesn't. I'm just, I'm saying for the sake of, let me, let's stay on topic then. Yeah. I'm saying for the sake of the apology, right? Mm -hmm. Even if it, if nobody if nobody accepts it or, or wants to accept it, yeah. why can't we acknowledge that that is a step in the right direction Bro, for Bro, you think he ain't never apologized to Cassie before? They was together for sure. about ten years. Of course he's a, of course he's apologized to her. You, bro, this is so. Let me. I'll just say this, right? I, I didn't, I didn't live in a house of domestic violence where I never seen no man put their hands on my mother. I've seen men verbally abuse my mother. You know what I mean? But I've never seen a man put his hands on my mother. So I can't speak from an experience, and I've never been in a relationship where I put my hands on a woman or a woman's put their hands on me. So I don't know nothing about that. In this context, but I'll just say from a common sense standpoint, right? Like, um, 
one of the main reasons why, and I've been saying this a lot recently, but just talking to my parents and this shit, like, bro, I don't believe in beating your children. Corporal punishment. I don't believe in beating your children it's because after you beat your kid, I'm going to use the word beat because that's the word our community uses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. After you beat your kid ass, after you kill, not, yeah. after you kill your kid and beat their ass, don't you tell them that you love them? Mm. After you you got your ass beat before? Yes. Did your mother tell you she loves you? Yeah. When you became, now at that time, when you was a child, it seemed like everything was okay. Mm. When you becoming a, a grown ass man, and you think about that time, that one time, because you still remember them ass whoopings. Yeah. You think about that one time, your mom's fucked you up, and then she told you she loved you. Don't you think that's pretty confusing? It can be. It can be. It can be. Psychologically, we was before we got on this, we was talking about 48 laws of power and all that manipulation shit. Now, don't you don't don't we, I mean, I'm just shooting from the fucking, I'm just shooting from half court right now. I could be right or wrong. Don't we believe that if a woman was in a relationship with a man, right? Whether she chose to stay there, right? I'm not going, everything's not just one sided, right? She chose to stay there. You don't think she ain't got no apologies? We ain't seen Cassie in some of the flyest shit ever. I'm we ain't seen sure her with all apologies. types of diamonds and jewels and car. I'm pretty, but that's all apologizing. So what I'm saying is, is at the point where a video comes out, you think an apology to the pu public perception don't matter in this case. You're right, and I'm saying forget. How is it possible that we can ignore public perception? Because I'm saying mm -hmm. I'm not excusing what he did at all. Mm -hmm. I don't fuck with it on many levels. I even told you when we was arguing, I'm like, yo, because these are the people that our kids look up to. I don't fuck with that, bro. Yeah. Even if they shouldn't or not, but they are the people that our kids look up to. Horrible. And the fact that our kids are looking up to and you doing this corny shit, mm -hmm. I don't like none of it, nothing about it. All mm -hmm. I'm saying is from a human aspect of it, outside of Diddy, uh, as a person, mm -hmm. right? Man, bro, it's so many people who looks at this man and judge him and they got millions of uh, millions of skeletons in their closet. That doesn't matter, make, though. No, what I'm saying is, to say that I'm seeing a personality say that him apologizing was the wrong thing to do. That's all I'm speaking about. Yeah. I don't see how that's true when, bro, it's people who do fucked up things and never give their 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 accusers or the victims the closure to apologizing. Let's say R. Kelly, for example. R. Kelly is going to die in jail. On he's uh, he's psychologically fucked. Say, say it, but still, he's gonna die in jail, living the same lie that he believes a lie that he didn't do anything to these young ladies, these young girls. That's sick. The fact that a man can say, "Yo, I apologize." I'm not saying uh, man manipulation doesn't matter. I'm saying, when do we give people the opportunity to grow outside Nigga. of Diddy? Forget <laughs> Diddy. Can we do that? We don't, bro. This you, all right, you. I know you probably never seen this movie either. The Running Man. The Running Man was this movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger, it was like a reality show where they like they kidnapped all these men and they basically put them like through all these obstacles to kill one another for the sake of entertainment. We the Truman show, like that's what we living in right now, bro. Mm. Nobody don't ain't no compassion, nigga. Ain't no compassion, ain't no love. It's not none of that, bro. Nobody don't care. And you wanna know why? Because we live in a time where somebody don't even care if they make it money off of what they get to say. They just wanna be the person to say it. Mm. They just wanna be the person to view it. They just wanna be able to be the first person to say it and go to their group chat and say, guess what I heard? Guess what I've seen? Look at this, look at that. We live in a sharing, we share destruction every day. Bro, think about this. Motherfuckers share video. How many times, and I, how many times has somebody sent you a video of somebody literally dying, bro? Literally getting killed, they head blown off or something. For what? You know how psychologically traumatizing that is? You think a nigga care about how your mental is after you see that video? No, they just wanna be able to say they sent it to you and that's the era we live in, bro. You know why the apology don't matter? Because nothing matters. We live in a time where nothing matters anymore. The only thing that matters to you or matters to me or matters to him or matters to motherfuckers is they family. And the people that we have influence or impact on, my brother. So what I'm saying is, when that nigga did that, he's just trying to save face for himself where you can't save face for nothing. His son just put out a record saying, y'all keep saying no Diddy and all of this and bad boy, we about to come back stronger. And then the video dropped next week. Yeah. Talk it's, about horrible timing. It's hard. It, listen, it's hard to digest for sure. Pause. All I'm saying is like, 
I'm a God fearing man. So it, it, I have to think like that. I would think. So when I see so many people saying, man, you shouldn't apologize, I'm like, bro, who do y'all niggas think y'all are? Like, bro, that's we, just, live in a, we live in this society, you, but it's always been like this. We but you're right. In, I'm not. I'm not talking But I ain't it. trying to be right. The yeah, thing is, no. bro, we live in a society of hypocrisy. And that's yeah. just always been like that. I've been a hypocrite in a lot of ways. You've probably been a hypocrite sure. in a lot of ways. Some days we feel this way, other ways we don't. And then in the interim, we be learning. Nobody don't give you just said it yourself. Nobody cares to see you learn. Yeah. Bro, when a nigga, yo, bro, if a nigga. You put most of the people who criticize other people in the same circumstances, and if they would fold or wouldn't even attempt, like, bro. Everybody is a Monday night quarterback, bro. You know how many people see a boxer do something and be like, that could never be me. You want to know why? Because you can't get through the warm-up. Mm. You can't even get through the warm-up. But, but you're allowed to have criticism or perspective because you have a voice. And this shit that made it, and these cameras that made it possible for any and everybody, bro. Mm. So guess what? There will never be no growth. We ain't never going to get to see Diddy's Redemption. This ain't about Diddy's redemption right now. Yeah. This is about trauma. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's about like, and they looking at one, and now that we seen one, everybody like, oh, everything that happened is, is real now. Mm. And people can't wait for a motherfucker to crash, even if they like you. Bro, even if they like you, look at the Drake shit. Yeah, that's... Look at the Drake shit, bro. Look at the Drake shit. Now, don't get me wrong. Kendrick Lamar is one of my favorite rappers. I love Kendrick but Lamar. This is crazy. It, but this is the thing, bro. Niggas could not <laughs> wait for Drake to lose. That's all they want. They want the downfall of somebody else. All Kendrick got to do is do one thing that everybody don't like. One thing that everybody don't like, and they want the same for him. Mm. It don't matter, bro. It's a cycle. We, Bro, it's more about destruction than it is. Nigga, ain't, this shit ain't about no positivity, nigga. I could get on this shit. I could get on this bitch and talk positivity all day. Ain't gonna be no views. I say some shit just to say it. I could say I hate one nigga, like just one nigga, like another another hip person who does hip, yeah. another personality. And I could not hate him. I could not even met him. I could say one thing about him, and I'm instantly gonna be viewed just because people are like, oh, he says something about him. Let's see if this person says something. Let's see. And then once 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 both of us die, once both of us die because we didn't know each other and we fell into the trap and we both die, you know what they're gonna say? Man, them niggas is dumb, man. Look, they could have been talking about positivity. They could have been doing this. They could have been doing this for the kids. Niggas will hype you up to do the dumbest shit in the world because they want to see you do the dumbest shit, do the dumbest shit in the world just for you, just to say, oh, that nigga's dumb. Facts. Boy, I, I, that's what that in the hood. Nigga will say, man, you should have, man. I, it couldn't have been me. It couldn't have been me. And then it be, then you do what it couldn't have you know been. Many, and then they like, bro, you stupid. You throw away your. Hey, you know how many niggas I seen say it couldn't be them, and it, and I seen it be them after that. Mm -hmm. You know how many, bro? You, bro, I'm that, but that's, nigga. Bro, I understand because I was that guy who like I was that kid growing up where I wasn't going to be the person that people people came to me like, man, it couldn't be me. Like, now nah, I'm gonna act on it now, and I had to learn that when I'm doing the things that. People saying they would or wouldn't do. When I gotta suffer the consequences, I'm suffering by myself, bro. I'm suffering by myself. You know how many niggas die for it not being? Yes, it couldn't have been them. Yeah, bro. I had to tell my niece this shit the other day, nigga. Like, cause she was talking about fighting, fighting somebody and fighting some grown woman. And my niece, like, she is, bro. If you see this girl, you don't even think she fight. Beautiful young lady. All this down the third. I said, just cause you win, don't mean you can't get hurt. Mm -mm -mm. You could win, and a nigga knock every tooth in your mouth out. Mm -hmm. Now you ain't got no teeth. Who won? The best way to avoid confrontation, uh, the best way to win a confrontation is to avoid confrontation. Bro, and but that's, that what, times, know, but bro. that's what I'm saying. Bro, and we ain't gonna get too redundant. Yeah, we don't wanna get I'm all saying, but that's deep and shit. Nah, bro. nah, but but that's what I mean about you might not, it might not have been you, mm -hmm. but these kids are looking up to these rappers. In a in an influential way, and that's why I'm because I was one of them kids that like oh, but that's but that, but and that's why and that's when why we was so when we was having serious. that banter, bro. But that's why I was saying that like, bro, we got to do more for these kids, man. Mm. Cause we we got to do more for these kids, man. Because like like I ain't gonna lie, man. Like when you it, it's when you hopeless, it's easy to find hope. You feel me? And anything and anybody. And anything and anybody. But when you find hope. Like I'm a, let me can I talk to the camera real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, get in there. Do and your I thing. want this to be a clip. Any of you young brothers and sisters that's out there 
that you're thinking about committing a crime or you hanging around people that commit crimes and you don't commit crimes, do not take no charge for nobody. Mm. Do not go to jail for nobody. Because I'm at the age now where those said people that you would have thought you took, if you take a charge for somebody else's com committing an act of crime and they, uh, and they influence or they tell you that that's okay, they don't give a damn about you. Mm. If a man or woman cannot be accountable for their own actions and they will allow you to ruin your status as a citizen, to get a felony, to go to prison, to lose your freedom because they rather it be you than them, but it could never be me. Mm. That's the mindset of a person. It could never be me. It'll be somebody else. They don't give a fuck about you. And when you come home from said activity or whatever it is that you did to help benefit this person because you revered them and viewed them to have more potential in life than you, they not going to do nothing for you. When you go to jail, a nigga is not taking care of your kids. When you go to jail, a nigga is not going to be there for your wife or your girlfriend. When you go to jail, a nigga is not going to be there for your mother or your little brother. Your little brother get cracked in his head and you in jail and niggas out here in the streets, they going to be like, man, his brother a grown man. He out there in these streets. He got to take care of himself. Yo, do not place more value in another man or woman than you place in yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm sorry we ain't like argue on this. I know. We could argue next time. Is there anything to argue about? Yeah, we did kind of have an argument. Because you said I ain't influenced you and you was lying. <laughs> he was lying. He know I'm influenced influence you to him. He know that shit. My That's my dog, dog right bro. here. You, know like, you feel me? Like, you That's my, my dog, dog right here. You feel me? But no, bro, I feel like, man, is there anything in the industry to argue about, bro? You got to look at Elliot Page. He posts everything. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to keep it 100, man. I mean, listen, I have respect for what Ellie has done in his career, but i really be disgusted by his actions. For real? Absolutely. Keep going. Why? No, nah, I, just, I just think it's cringe. What part it's about cringe -worthy. it? cringe-worthy. I just think that like for Elliot, for who you he is- You think he's chasing moments? All these niggas is chasing moments. But I, I just think that like, you look at certain people in life, personalities, like, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that he not- uh, an influential figure because he's influenced me. Yeah. And he's and he's taught me things. I just the the way I viewed him at one point in time, I didn't think that he would conduct himself in certain ways. Like, you know what I mean? But he's a he's his own man. Like what though? I'm like I'm trying Just to the whole like making the thing about Drake unfollowing him. Oh yeah, he wants some views. He wants the clicks. He knows it's going to get him clicks. Why not? But what but uh, but I mean but that's why I'm saying I don't I never looked at him as a person that would like have that type of discussion or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or even care that much. Like, bro, Drake had me blocked and I wasn't even following him yeah. at one point in time. You know what I mean? But it's like, it's not really a thing. I'm just saying that like, for, to, I don't know. Now I can see that. Yeah. I mean, but that's what they do, bro. Like, mm -hmm. that's what they do. They want the But I'm also, listen, bro, I, I like to remove myself from the conversation of a journalist because uh, Isaac Hayes, he threw me into some, one day he put up some posts and he said some shit about... As journalist, he said he was talking about the the Drake, the, the pedophile thing, and mm -hmm. how we allowing uh Kendrick to call him a pedophile and all that. And and as a, a, a journalist, and I was like, bro, I said I don't mean none of the criteria you put me as, like for real. He said Isaac Hayes, the uh, founder of uh um 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 fan base, fan base, yeah. You know what I mean, he's Isaac Hayes' son. You know what I mean, you don't know who Isaac Hayes is, mm -mm. nigga. You don't know who Isaac Hayes is, maybe. <laughs> and you like R and B? If it wasn't for Isaac Hayes, most of your favorite R and B, I do. If I'm it sure wasn't for R Isaac Hayes, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for Isaac Hayes, most of your favorite R and B songwriters, singers, producers would not even be who they is today without that man music. Bro, I I I I I don't know, but I do know. I just talked about him. So just so you don't, and you I remember that, and you was yeah. you didn't know yeah. who he was. But no, but that would I was giving his respect. Bro, I probably know a couple of the songs. I'm you disgusted me? right now. Bro, come on, dog. Yeah, I'm, you wanted some shit to argue about. I'm disgusted. I bet you if you play a couple of the songs, I know them. Come That's on. not the point. That come on, dog. You gotta give me some grace. You don't know. This is our culture. <laughs> ain't no grace. Ain't no ain't no growth. <laughs> ain't no grace. Ain't, yeah, no ain't growth. nobody giving you no growth. God damn. Nah, it ain't no shit. ain't no growth. You yeah, know I, I know why. But yeah, nah, man. I'm, I'm media niggas is different, bro. But they your guys, bro. You love them niggas. I love who? All of them. No, I don't. For the exception of uh, be, uh, be that Elliot my friend. Now. For the exception of Elliot now, 
All these love is a strong. I don't love all these niggas be saying the craziest shit. Y'all got a nerd to talk about me. I love these niggas. I don't love. I don't love. It's certain people that are my friends that I have love for, but I don't love these niggas. Like you talking about love? You one of these niggas, bro? It depends on how you look at it, and that's fine. I don't care if people consider me that, right? You could consider me. I am a media nigga. You could because I made money off the media, <laughs> so I'm definitely a media nigga. Because I don't like that. I used to fall into that hole. I ain't no media nigga, but I'm also not in the street no more. Like yeah, I'm not man. no. Yo, I'm a street nigga. Nah, I ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, bro, is like I'm not in the space of the realm, and I'm not saying this to discredit nobody. I'm not in the space or the realm of like how people operate because I didn't take the same steps as them or want the same things they want. Like I'm not like I'm not a journalist, bro. You are a journalist. I'm no I'm not. By the definition of a journalist, I didn't go to school for none of that. I never learned nothing. I've never learned nothing about journalism. You know what I know about journalism? Reading. The only reason why I know about what journalism is is because I used to read a lot of magazines and read a lot of books when I was a kid. But other than that, bro, I don't know nothing about like the core values of journalism or how you're supposed to conduct yourself. All I know is that as a media personality, nigga, I know if that's that was my hustle and it's still my hustle. If I got to do it, I got to learn like the tricks of the trade. Like, you feel me? But I'm not... I would never, I feel like calling myself a journalist is disrespectful to real journalism. I feel like not calling yourself a journalist is lazy. Nah, that's disrespectful to real journalism, bro. Bro, you a journalist. No, I'm not. You're in that's, the space and you're supposed to, just like, no, I'm, not a, I'm, I'm not a, I'm uh, what, not what, what, a hip hop historian, but I got to respect hip hop. You don't have to be a hip hop historian. You don't have to be a historian to be able to talk about hip hop. You just got to like music enough and have knowledge of it. You don't have to, you don't have to like know every single thing. Like you saying that you don't know who Isaac Hayes is is crazy. That's not crazy. That's crazy. It's not. Crazy. No, that's crazy. It's overlooked. I mean, I no, don't no, know no, it's no, no, music, no, 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 bro. bro. It's not, that's not crazy. Isaac Hayes is one of the greatest musicians of our time. That's not crazy. That is crazy, bro. Oh. You black. What the? F <laughs> you black. This is not. This is not. If you black, how could you not eat fried chicken? Like it's not something like that. It's kind of no, like it's that, not, bro. If you black and you listen to mute, you listen, bro. It would be. Listen, it's different if I asked you who, uh, um. Rico Wade, which you should know who Rico Wade is, but if if I say like Isaac, hey, you listen to R and B, bro, bro. You I listen... didn't know who Jonte. Uh, what was his name? Jonte Johnson. Is that the guy that did the verses with uh Neo? I believe. Who did the verses with Neo? It was I in... think his name is Jonte or something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, right? What I was saying is, bro, you have to like Isaac Hayes, bro. Isaac Hayes is I'm, I'm gonna get you, sucker. You never seen I'm gonna get you, sucker. The movie? Probably not. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I got into all this shit late, yeah, bro. I was, I was outside. You niggas was in the house watching video. Who was in the house? Games and Nigga, shit. who was in the house? Jonte Austin. Nigga, I That's was like, wait, 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 wait. Hold up a second. You said you was outside. Nigga, I was outside before it was a term. See, outside, no, no, hold on. I, never mind that. Outside is a term for your generation because y'all niggas take pride in. Being able to say that you were somewhere. Nigga, that's just where we were. <laughs> that was our entertainment. Outside was our social media. We didn't call it outside. Because that's just where we were. Nigga, I drank water out the fire hydrant. Nigga, that's Me how too, outside I mean? was. He talking about out. Bro, y'all niggas was in the house. Bro, we, no, we, nigga, we opened we the was fire hydrant our, ourselves. Nigga. I was in a house. Yeah, so did my generation. We was we was in a we was in a house on Friday night watching movies because that's where we had to be, nigga. Like you, nah, you I didn't going, have to be in the house. See, I didn't never. Have so to when be. you were seven years old, you was in a house on Friday night. No cap, bro. I lived in the projects. So yeah. My, and my my projects. Yeah. 1121 Tiffany Court. If you from Baltimore, you know where that's at. 1121 okay. Tiffany Court. You can look out my my window yeah. and see me. Yeah. So my mom's. Was like as long as it was older kids outside, yeah. I was good. So I was outside. I never really. Because yeah, you never were in the house. You never watched TV. I didn't. Watch you never watched Family I, Matters. I you never watched had a different ADHD. world. I'm a little bit of different world, but not enough to remember an episode and tell you like, yo, you remember that episode? You ever watched School Days by by Spike Lee? Nah. Ain't you in a fraternity? Yeah. You're a weirdo. <laughs> I'm a weirdo because yeah, I'm a you're a weirdo, bro. I said, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Niggas is really mad because I, bro, I, like. You pleasure bro, of attorney, they never seen school days. You're bro, a weirdo. I, bro, bro, I never was into none of that shit. This is bro. your culture, nigga. No, this it's why, this, this why I love the, no, this, this is why I love the fact that if you was from China, bro, you, it's mandatory that if you, have, you have to do two years in the military, bro. It got to be mandatory that niggas got to do like two years of hip hop. Bro, training I came or, up. Like, or. I like I did I definitely like the old school music because my mom's my mom's is like 75, 76. Your like, mother's 76? Yeah. Like, how old was she when she had you? Like 40 something? 46, I think. 
Damn. Yeah. You have an older 45. mother. Yeah, bro. Like, so, like, a lot of times, I, I wasn't You the into... only child? Kind of. What the fuck I got does a brother. I got a brother, but so my I'm brother... I'm for your mother. No, I have a brother for my mother. Okay. But he didn't stay with me. Like, he was with my grandmother. So, like, I okay. I, I know you him. went through, you know, you... you yeah, yeah. You, your I mom could, was on, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. and I all could, your, I probably seen him documented. My, yeah, I, I could see... I could see... I seen him probably, like... I don't I don't know my siblings. I know a few of them, but I... Nigga, I'm number six out of eight kids, all different mothers. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like, like I, I, nigga, the way I met my siblings was like walking down the block, and my dad be like, "Call so a kid." So would you over. say you were only child? Can I was I my mother's only child for ten years. So I was the only child because I was my mom's only child for ten years, and then she had my little sister. Oh. But I wasn't the only child from my mom's side. Okay. I grew. Up, I helped raise my little sister. Now, see, I grew up the only child. That's really it. Oh. That's what I'm saying. I grew up the only child too because I didn't. My other siblings, I didn't know. Like I didn't. Like, I had a sibling that I saw every graduation. You don't graduate every year. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't grow up with siblings. Like, I knew I had siblings, but I didn't know these niggas. Like, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, don't do the Isaac Hayes thing to me, bro. That was bad because I probably do know his music. That's bro. not, no, no. Because no. that's my, that's my You're bag. Supposed that's my to be, vibe. Bro. Like, the same way you said, I said, Keisha Cole, you was like, that shit was cool. Yeah. That's what I'm but saying. But how old, you got to understand how old Isaac was Clay, I? I, I? Bro, I'm not, I didn't grow up in Isaac Hayes' era. I didn't grow, bro, Isaac Hayes, when he was making music, I was even born. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Like that's why it's my culture. When Isaac Hayes was making music, bro, I wasn't even born. I was born in 1982. Now my man, so again, my dog just showed me because mm -hmm. he wasn't. None of his music was on the top 100 album list. Mm -hmm. And I guess somebody made a video mm -hmm. about all of the people who sampled his music yeah. that was on the top 100. Yeah. Like Joe Scott Haran. You know who Joe Scott Haran is? Joe Scott? No, not Joe Scott. No. Gil Scott. I'm sorry, Gil Scott Haran. Not Joe mm -hmm. Scott. Mm -hmm. All right, you know Kanye's song. I'm on my way home. Yeah. That sample, you, you don't know that guy. See, this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, we gotta give. Listen, that's fire. Jay Hill. That's hard. That's you know. The is. same way in China, you gotta go two that's years fire. military. We gotta put Jay Hill through two years of boot camp training when it comes to hip hop. If he gonna be on these cameras, especially talking with me, because I'm not gonna allow him <laughs> to sit here. We're gonna hold Jay Hill to the fire, y'all. Like, we gonna bro, hold my brother. I, but to every the time fire. you say something, I go and listen, though. I will hope so. Every time you tell me something new, I'll be like, I'll be tapping in. I just, I, I be scared to say shit because you're going to be like, what? What's that? Nah, it, say it. It, 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 it. You from Baltimore. You know who Miss Tony is? Yeah. All right. Come on, bro. Only reason why I know who Miss Tony is because remember I told you I lived in Maryland for Yeah, years. yeah, 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 yeah. I used to hate that song. Miss Tony said, how you want to care? What's up? What's, what's up? up? What's up? <laughs> yeah. Bro, that shit used to play on the radio every morning when I was a little kid, bro. Nah, that shit was crazy. And they used to call me country. Like, niggas in Maryland, they would yeah. call me country because I didn't know Miss Tony. Like, yeah, Miss Tony. Miss Tony is a man, y'all. Yeah, he's a trend. Yeah. He's a trend? I don't I just thought he was a gay guy. I might be wrong. I mean... I look. I'm still. I'm still ignorant, bro. So as much that, as I got to the world, no, that? like as much as I got education, I'm still like an ignorant nigga from the city. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I be I confuse all of it sometimes. Gay. Right. I, I get. It, I get it. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. Now, I'm don't want him to get demonetized. Yeah, I'm, I'm, try, chill, like. I'm trying my best. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm learning. Right, right, right. But yeah, nah, bro. Baltimore got some some really good R and B. I met I met um a young lady from there when I went to avenues YouTube avenues there. But I got I got I got to tap more. But Baltimore loved me out there too. Yeah, they love me out there, bro. When I went to Baltimore, I got so much love just being at YouTube Avenue. Yo, uh, I think um Drew Hill is probably mm -hmm. top one of the greatest R and B groups of all time. Easy. Yeah, bro. That's not disputable. Like that's not even disputable. I feel like the only reason why you know about Drew Hill is because you're from Baltimore. I feel like if, if Drew Hill was from like New Orleans, you know, like, who, you know who as yet. As yet, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I know of them. Like I wasn't into their music, but I know who As Yet is. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's usually one of my go tos when niggas like nah. Not nah, so, bro. I remember I was born in the eighties, raised in the nineties, so all of that shit that was playing on like Midnight Love or okay, you know what I'm saying? Like it was it, it was on TV. Like you had to watch that to get to Rap City, or you had to watch that to get to Comic View, or you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like that's usually one of my go tos when niggas be like, no, what? That? Oh, for real? Like, come on, man, you don't know. Like Mint Condition. No, I'm just saying. You know, Mint Condition is. I probably heard him. You don't know keep what on, condition keep on, is? Keep on, keep on, man. Cause I like, hold up, bro. You no, know Tony, Tony, Tony. Yeah, is. yeah, yeah. So of course you know Raphael Sadiq. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. No, it's, no, total is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I'm being generous. Um, he really going to try it. Don't know who seven o two is. Oh my god, this nigga don't know who seven o two is. Seven o two, bro. Maybe that ass seven o two. If you play a song, I might know. Nah, that's crazy. You supposed to know who that? You, nah, so you, you didn't watch Good Burger? Yeah, yeah. You don't remember they had they had the single. All I want. Yeah. Oh. Someone that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Nah, he don't even know. yeah, he don't even know. 
Damn, so, you know, you know black, about stop you know black boom like an eight oh eight, boom like a eight oh eight. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I do, I, I do. I, I, I told you I don't know. Bro, I'm getting so many calls. Damn, I mean, shit, we don't got hold you, bro. Damn, I mean, now I'm interested now, and I even gonna like let's have fun with it. We gonna make these clips. <laughs> Who? Who? See, I, I, I don't know. I didn't know. P told me about who Kilo, Kilo Ali from down here. So P, I didn't. So that's the thing. It's so funny because P said he was talking about Kilo Ali one day. He's like, you don't know Kilo Ali, and then coach was like, man, he wouldn't know that man, nigga from New York. It's like, it's like if I said to P, like, do he know who Tragedy Gaddafi is? Like, you know what I mean? Like, he, it's like a local Atlanta nigga, but he had like his music had like influence on like Florida, right? It was like he made, I, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mm -hmm. know uh, Big L. You know JT Money. You know who JT Money is? What, I said I know Big, Big L? L? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know who yeah, drama yeah. is? <laughs> left, 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 right, right left. left. Get on up. No, that was that was drama. Magic was uh, Sound of No Limit, I believe. Drama was drama was the Sound of No Limit. He wore soldier rags and all that, but he wasn't Sound of No Limit. I think like he was like you know no limo was popping so they like let me go get a you know what I mean? Damn, yeah. It's mad shit you don't know. It's mad shit I don't know, bro. I told you, bro. I was outside playing football, bro. I wasn't really. They didn't have music. Yeah, they yeah, had music. He just wasn't I just, listening. I wasn't listening. I was listening. To I know he was like the bad kid on the block, bro. Like yeah, check I your was, ass yeah, in the house. Yeah, like, that was me. Like yeah, I used to get my ass whooped for not being in the house. Like I used to always want to be like you always want to be in somebody else's house. Like get your ass in the house. <laughs> I be outside, bro. I was no, fact. bad little snotty nose kid, like really yeah. bad as hell. All right, I gotta get out of here. We out, man. Um, Wayno, J Hill, uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. He said it, guys. I said it. We'll be back. We'll yeah. be back. This is good though. I'm sorry we ain't have like a lot of stuff to argue about. We try. I look. I try to find some things, but yeah. just ask, whenever you see J Hill, J Hill out in these streets, just ask him who had the biggest impact on him in 2024. <laughs> <laughs>